Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll see how honey is cultivated on farms and processed in factories. Flowers need bees and bees need flowers. Together they produce honey and countless fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts through pollination. During the early summer, the colony reaches its peak population and concentrates on collecting nectar and pollen and storing honey for the coming winter. Honey production requires a Langstroth hive, where the female bees store the honey. They fill the smoker with paper and dried lavender, and then they set it alight with a lighter. And then when squeezing the bellows like this, it draws in air and then creates smoke. They wear protective clothing to protect themselves from bee stings. Then they go to the beehive, intending to collect the hives. They use hive tools to open the roof of the hive, as soon as the roof of the hive is opened, a worker creates smoke so that the bees move away from the hive. Later, they lift the frames of the hive one by one to collect honey from the hive. In the US, the most common bee equipment is the 10-frame deep box. More recently, however, 8-frame boxes are becoming more popular. A worker then uses a hot air gun to quickly remove the bees from each frame. Then they use a beehive tool to remove the wax from the sides of the frame. The National Beehive is specifically designed to house frames details in the standard. In addition to these wax frames, plastic frames are also used in some places. Now it's time to send these honeycomb frames to the factory. In this case, they use mini cranes to lift boxes filled with hive frames onto trucks. When the truck is filled with boxes, the truck leaves for the factory. Then the boxes are brought inside the factory with the help of a front loader. A front loader brings 16 boxes into the factory at once. A worker then uses a forklift to assemble these boxes in the factory storeroom. It is the scratcher that helps lift the wax coating on the hive. Many use a knife-like scratcher to remove the wax coating. These are basically electric scratchers that heat up and melt the wax layer. Not only is honey collected from the frame of the hive, but this wax lining is collected in a different process. Many factories use machines to remove the wax coating from the frames of the hive. This machine scratcher saves time, but the downside is that it removes the honeycomb along with the wax lining. These frames are then taken to the honey extractor machine to collect the honey from these hive frames. In this case, first, various holes are made in the beehive through this machine so that the honey comes out easily through the honey extractor. Then these frames are placed inside the honey extractor machine and rotated so that the honey inside the frame comes out. After extracting the honey, the frames are arranged in boxes in stages. Later. The honey extracted by the machine is collected in a container. On the other hand, the honey collected in the conventional method is taken to the lab of factory to check its quality. From the lab, the honey comes to the honey filling plant and is filled into the honey jar through the honey filling machine. The honey jar's mouth is then sealed by a worker using a stainless steel cap. Then the cap and body of these honey jars are leveled. These large jars are filled with paper containers by workers from the production line. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that some hive frames are made of plastic. Now we will see how honey is grown and marketed through plastic frames. In this situation, eight hive frames and three connectors are used to construct a large hive box. Then these plastic boxes are placed in the wooden box in stages to create a three-stage Langstroth hive. The new wooden box hives are added to the artificial old hives. As a result, the bees expand their habitat, which quickly accumulates honey in the newly added plastic frames. The top of the hive is then covered. A new colony of bees requires at least three to five months to become strong and well-established. Basically, it will take one season for a new colony to become established. The honey-making process takes about 45 days and each bee develops a specific function. As a result of teamwork, the correct development of the process is ensured, resulting in the production of high-quality honey. 
A new hive will take at least four months to produce honey. A new colony may produce additional honey within four months, but not enough to harvest. Practically speaking, no honey is collected from a new colony until its second season. In collecting honey frames, first, the roof of the box is opened. When the frames are full of honey, the plastic boxes are lifted from the wood box through the hive tool. Then, a smoker and hot air gun are used so that the bees move away. The wooden boxes filled with these plastic frames are taken to the truck for the factory. Now we will see how these plastic frames are marketed directly from the factory. These plastic frames are immediately packaged in the packaging room after they arrive at the factory. They do not undergo factory processing. First, a worker at the factory separates the connectors from the plastic box, thereby separating the plastic frames. He then uses a scratcher to remove the wax coating from around each frame. He then screws the top of each frame very tightly and sends it to another worker for packaging. He sealed each frame with tape and attached the company logo. Then, the small plastic frames filled with honey are arranged and placed inside big paper containers. Now, these plastic beehives are currently prepared for market sale. Now, we will see how the packaging is done in small jars in the factory. After leveling and filling in boxes, these honey containers are ready for sale in the market. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. For more of this type of video, stay with us.